Hey everybody, this is Mrs. Schaefer and I wanted to talk to you about the factors that influence solubility. Warm up today. What is it called when no more solute can be dissolved in the solvent? Pick your answer. Is it A, suspension, B, solubility, C, saturated, D, solution, or E, still working on it? Check the word wall to find your answer. You'll want to know this. Remember, I can do this. Repeat that after me. I can do this. You can do it. We're covering the various factors today that influence solubility. So we've been talking about mixtures and different types of mixtures. And now we're going to look particularly at ideas that, that will affect that solubility. Review sheet is available there to help you out. But based on your notes, the first thing you want to make sure you have is what is solubility? So that's how much solute will be dissolved in a solvent. So an example of that might be the salt or the sugar right here. That's our solute and our solvent. That is the water down here, the medium. That's something that is being dissolved in. So there's quite a few factors that affect the solubility, or and that is how much solute will be dissolved in the solvent. Every substance has its own solubility. One example of that is how much sugar would it dissolve in 100 grams of water. So we talked a little bit about the saturated solutions. If something is saturated or not saturated. Have you ever had that situation where uh, you added sugar to a drink, maybe a tea or hot chocolate or something like that, where you're adding in some sugar to the drink? The first time you add a tiny bit, but it's not enough and you add more. And then what happens at the end if it gets too much? Right there, you will see precipitate at the bottom, just like in here. So we go from this idea of dilute to very concentrated, and that brings us to some vocabulary words of saturated. When something is saturated, it means it cannot hold anymore. And precipitant meaning that the substances are being deposited down at the bottom bottom because it's already saturated. Whatever the solution is, is saturated. Can't hold anymore. So the extra accumulates down at the bottom. In your reading, the 6.07, it will talk about some of these factors. And there is this video that you really, really need to watch. Really good video, factors that affect solubility. Um, but you will see that there are factors that affect the rate. So the rate of a solution is measured by, make sure you can answer that question, and then what happens when you change the temperature, when you stir, when you change the particle size or the surface area, and when you change the pressure. So go in, watch that video, and go through the reading, take some notes. Pause the recording to help you out. Here are my notes. All right, so let's do some check-ins. What does the rate of a solution measure? A, how much a substance dissolves. B, how much a substance precipitates. C, how fast a substance dissolves. D, how fast 
a substance precipitates it. Yeah, I'm still checking on it. What do you think? The key word here, what do you think it is? I would say it's a rate. What's a rate? Rate refers to time, how fast or how slow something is. So what is your best answer? Did you pick C? I hope so. Here's another one. If the rate of solution increases, then the solute will dissolve A, slower, B, faster, C, at the same rate, D, checking my notes. What would you pick? I hope you picked B. Which factor does not affect the rate of solubility? So look at your notes and see which one of these is not part of the rate of solubility, not part of our lesson today. A, surface area, B, pressure, C, temperature, D, weight, and E, still checking my notes. I'll leave you to answer that one on your own. But remember to go in and take the quiz. You'll want to take the uh, quiz and also the weekly quiz. The 6.07 has a practice quiz, and there is a weekly quiz that you'll want to take. We are getting ready to take the Unit 4 test. Uh, coming up, we'll be working on the Solubility Lab, where we're going to go out and look and see how temperature affects solubility rate. So you'll be using this information to help you. And then uh, you should be working in your class. Remember that there's not two tutoring going on right now with the uh, testing, but there are some help sessions and office hours as we can make them available. Otherwise, please email with questions. Keep working on that course every day. You should be working in your course for at least an hour, if not more. Hopefully, this helps you get to the course um, objective in that you can demonstrate the various factors that influence solubility. If you're struggling with this, go back in and watch those videos in the course. Super, super helpful to you. Code word for attendance for today is up on the board. If you have any questions, like I said, be sure to let us know so that we can help you as quickly as possible. Have a great day, and we will see you soon.